welcome to Athens Treasures Live. I'm your host, Stephen Sherlin. The episode we begin today is in collaboration with the McMinn County Historical Society and Archives. This is a documentary of the move of the Historical Society from the McMinn County Courthouse to our new facility at 107 West College Street in Athens. This documentary begins in December of 2021 and concludes in May of 2022. From beginning to end, the move is documented for historical preservation. Before we begin revealing the move and those who were a part of it, I would like to share with you a brief history of the McMinn County Historical Society. The initial pre-organizational meeting of the McMinn County chapter of the East Tennessee Historical Society as it was first known was held in Athens, Tennessee at the home of Dr. and Mrs. Leroy Martin on Sunday, February 22, 1959 at 2.30 p.m. Mr. James Byrne, president of the East Tennessee Historical Society, presided. There were 25 present, including Frank McKinney, the Martins, William Selden, and James Byrne. James Byrne explained that the meeting was being held to organize a society pertaining to and interest in local history. He also explained if people were not enthusiastic enough or not interested enough to keep an organized society going, such organization would be a waste of time. However, during the discussion, it was decided that an organization for even a short time might collect a great deal of historical information and materials which could be given to the McClung Room of the Lawson McGee Library in Knoxville or placed in some other appropriate place where it could be preserved and utilized. Dr. Leroy Martin moved that the group petition the East Tennessee Historical Society to become a chapter member of that organization. It passed unanimously. It was suggested that the petition should be ready by March 6, 1959, so that it could be presented in a meeting of the Executive Committee of the East Tennessee Historical Society. Mr. Paul Kelly was requested to present this petition to the East Tennessee Historical Society Executive Committee. On Sunday, March 8, 1959, another pre-organizational meeting was held at Keith Memorial Methodist Church at 2 p.m., on March 10, 1959, the Constitution and Bylaws Committee, appointed by James Byrne, met at the home of Mrs. L. F. Arterburn to formulate the text of the proposed Constitution and Bylaws. The Constitution and Bylaws were presented to the members of the McMinn County Historical Society at the next meeting, Sunday, April 5, 1959, for consideration and adoption. On May 3rd, 1959, the first meeting of the newly organized McMinn County Historical Society was held at 2 p.m. at the Keith Memorial Methodist Church. And so began the journey of what would become the McMinn County Historical Society and Archives. And now we witness the move from the courthouse to our new facility. Hello folks, and we're here today to begin documenting the move of the McMinn County Historical Society. The McMinn County Historical Society and Archives has been located in the basement of the courthouse here on the town square for many years. And we're going to go inside and take a look at uh, the offices in here and where the records are kept. Not much room in there at all, but where we're going to be moving up on College Street is going to make a big difference not only for the society, but for the public in general. So come with me now as we go in and take a look at the inside of the existing building. Well, here we are inside the existing offices of the McMahon County Historical Society and Archives. And as you can see, it's very tight. The, the documents and all the records are, are very, very close together and hard to get to. So hopefully that's going to change soon in the future. Hey folks, we're here with uh, McMahon County Mayor, the Honorable John Gentry. And he's going to share with us a little bit about the move of the McMinn County Historical Society to this new building. Had it not been for Mayor Gentry, 
this move would not be possible. So John, share with us a little bit about this move, how, how it came about and, and uh, your passion for history. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so really kind of, uh, there's a ripple effect from our move of the uh, Ag Extension Service to our new higher ed center. Uh, that's which is a, co a collaboration between Cleveland State and TCAT Athens and UT. And so we really needed uh, more space for our 4 H programs and those sort of things. And we thought, you know, once we move out, <clears throat> why can we move into that building that is a service to the community and just kind of several years of having historical society downstairs and knowing that they had no more room and just that just a, it's just a logical place to kind of have uh, a space dedicated uh, for the preservation of our history uh, we've always talked about you know the best citizenry are the ones who actually know their history and they have pride and when you have pride in the community you want to be a better citizen and you, you definitely want to leave it better than you found it so we want to celebrate our history we'd love to have a folks dedicate a place dedicated for folks can come do research um, our elected officials are going to have dedicated space in that facility for some of their court records and and different things from the county clerk and different uh, constitutional offices but it will be open you know through to the historical society who serves as our county archive so we can have real good documentation and real uh, genealogy work done there and it's just an exciting time to have a place dedicated to our history thank you john we appreciate your comments and we look forward to the move and thank you so much for your interest in the historical society because i know you're a historian and uh for of your support of all that's going well, on we appreciate there. the volunteers uh which we all know the historical society operates off the goodwill of volunteers and so uh the least we can do we're getting it ready now i know they put some new flooring in and, and some new painting and i know uh, maintenance have been working on the roof and reglazing the windows and all that sort of thing so we hope it's to be a nice home uh, that serves us for, for for another century there so excited all right thank you mayor john gentry mcmahon county thank you well, folks, here we are continuing to document the move of the McMahon County Historical Society. We're here at the courthouse. Uh, so let's go in now and see uh, what's been done so far. About half of it has been moved to the new building. We'll look here, then we'll go up to the new building, take a look and see what's going on up there. Well, here we are inside the historical room in the basement of the courthouse and as you can see a lot of it has been moved out a lot of room in here now since all this has been uh, packed up and moved on down to our new facility we still have a, a quite a lot of stuff here that's got to be packed up and we thank all the volunteers who've been a part of packing up everything and getting it ready to go up there and to sheriff joe guy and mayor john gentry and chester appearing and uh the trustees of the mcmahon county jail for their help in moving all of this uh, sometimes very heavy equipment but as you can see uh, we're looking very good a lot of it's gone and uh, here's our archive room if you can see back in there uh, this is some very important items back in here and it will be moved soon also up to our new facility so that's a look at where we are today uh, wednesday january the 12th 2022 as we continue the move of the mcmahon county historical society and archives from the basement of the courthouse to 107 west college street here in athens well here we are folks up here at 107 west college street at the new mcmahon county historical society and archives building uh, we'll go inside here and see what it looks like as we continue this move as we document our move from the courthouse here to this new building 
So I'm just going to walk around the camera, pick it up, and we'll go in and take a look around and we'll continue this documentary as this work proceeds. Side, we find that uh, everything's freshly painted. Very nice building. A lot of this on this end of the hall is going to be used for uh, McLean County archive storage from the courthouse. Here's the kitchen area. It will also serve as a meeting area as well. And it's a very nice area. As we come on down the hall a little bit, we find uh, in here if we turn the lights on, uh, this is going to be one of our record rooms. And of course, we're in the process of moving, so uh, we have a lot of things going on here. And we'll go on and make our way around. You can see all this has been moved and we're trying to get it ready to be functional. And as we go into the office area here, we find that this is going to be the main office area uh, for our officers and it's still being set up. It also has an area where we have a lot of the uh, archival maps and uh, some of the other historical records will be kept in here as well. And then we'll make our way around to the reception area. And do y'all, y'all want to be on here? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll try to miss you. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. Uh, and right here we have the reception area, and this is going to be the main area. We have uh, all, this all this packed up that's yeah. been brought over from the McMahon County Courthouse. And of course, uh, Janet and Clarice and Roger and all, everybody's been helping out. <laughs> so we're very grateful with uh, their help and the move. And of course, the guys from uh, the Justice Center have been a big help moving all this. And then right here, over here, you'll see this old cabinet that we brought over from the uh, Historical Society. It made it in one piece, believe it or not. <laughs> And then as we're going to look right back here and we'll finish for the day and we'll make another tour as we continue our progress. This is going to be the archive room uh, where the archivists will keep all the most valuable archives of McMinn County. They'll be stored here. It'll be a climate controlled room, uh, de uh, dehumidified. And uh, there's, of course, it's our fire safe that we keep very important documents in. So, uh, this is a look at our new facilities, and as it progresses, we'll keep you informed in the documentary. Well, folks, as we continue to document our move to the Blackman County Historical Society move, uh, building on 107 West College Street. You'll see that I have the telephones and the internet working at this time. And this is where Fred's magnificent desk is that the Cokers donated. It's a beautiful desk. All I gotta do is get his computers in here finish moving everything in, fill all these cabinets up, and then we'll go in here to this other room, and you'll see where we have, we turn the lights on, we've got phones and internet hooked up and working here. So the phone lines are all live and active, the internet's running full steam ahead and we even have signage up to keep people out of the archive room when we get it filled up and we're getting uh legal with all of our signage 
for building code and fire code uh, marking all of the, the uh, fire extinguishers so here's all these boxes that need to be unpacked and right along this wall we'll be building shelving where all of the books and records in these boxes will go and there'll be easy access for those who will be at workstations along here in this area and this will be a very nice area uh, better than what we have now with a lot of room and right up here you'll see this is where we'll be displaying our items for sale our books and other items that we are uh, selling at the historical society and right now you see we got boxes just everywhere so this is another account of our ongoing documentation of the move hey folks we continue to document the move of the McMinn County Historical Society and Archives from the basement of the courthouse downtown up to our new facility at 107 West College Street as you can see the rooms getting emptier and emptier all we have left to do now is just move the archives in the back room and I'll if you let me walk around back the camera I'll take you back there and show you what it looks like then we'll go up to the new building take a peek up there the progress up there and you can see what's uh, happening up there as well so as you can see this room's pretty well cleaned out this back part back here that still has books on it is part of the archive system and the archives are here in this room and uh, they will be supervised by Joe Guy and uh, as they're moved and they'll be moved up into a special room up at the new facility so here we are as you can see almost totally cleaned out Fred has to clean his desk up and uh, Jason and the volunteers get all these things off this other desk and we'll be out of here so that's where we are today this is Monday April or not April January the 24th 2022 and we'll take some more pictures later good morning folks yes it's morning it's actually a Friday morning January the 28th to be exact as we continue our documentary of our move from the basement of the courthouse to our new facility here at 107 West College Street the McMean County Historical Society and Archives is on the move and we're taking you along with us as we make this move day by day sometimes it, it's a little spread out could be a week or so because of delays and sickness but here we are today up here in this building we showed you just recently how cleaned out the basement building was we'll go back there and take a peek again there another day the archives are still down there uh, I want to say a great thank you to Janet Cantrell and Clarice Kaufman and Jason right and uh, all the others who've been coming as they can uh, to help with uh, the unpacking and a, a special thank you to Chester Perian and the trustees at the Sheriff's Department who have been just phenomenal in helping us move and getting this building ready up here and uh, special thanks to our president Fred Underdown, who's put a lot of time and effort and thought into how this place ought to be and and how it ought to look and so we're doing our best we don't always do exactly what it wants but we try and uh, it's looking very good i think everyone's pleased it's going to be a wonderful facility and i think it's going to be great for mcmahon county and the city of athens and the people of this area as well so let's take a peek around where we are and then we'll come back again later down to the courthouse or or back up here again but eventually we'll show you the finished product so here we go this is the reception room you'll see that we have been busy there 
our pictures on the wall and and some of this stuff is just temporary where it's at this right here will be the volunteer reception desk in this area and uh, there are security cameras in this building uh, placed strategically throughout the building just uh, not only for the safety of the volunteers and the people who work up here but also uh, for the security of our archives as well. Here is where we're going to be displaying the books and the items that will be for sale here at the a new facility and they're just beginning to get a look at how that's going to be that's not the finished product but it's a start uh, over here uh, there will be shelves built underneath this window they're currently being built and will be installed by next week and all these boxes you see here in this room will be unboxed and put in those shelves and available for researchers who will come and sit at tables right down the center of this room and be able to work and do their research and the volunteers will be here as well. Uh, we go back here, we see some more pictures and plaques that have been put up and more of our research material that those cabinets are full, they're, they're ready to go. The tops are just being uh, placed there until we can get it like we want it. Oh, it's dark in here. Let me turn the light on. Okay, this is where the archive room will be. Uh, Joe Guy will be overseeing bringing in the archives. You can see it's uh, just got stuff piled in here right now, although this safe will stay. And we'll just go on out. And by the way, this is uh, the Bill Aikens room. Um, so that's for you to know and we'll just get ourselves on out here you kind of see the room from this angle this will be the main research room the main reception room and there will be a lot of room when we get all these boxes put away a lot better than where we were Many of you remember this old cabinet. We got it here safely and it will be uh, filled back up. Uh, I guess you could kind of call this the Hall of History. And we're not quite through with it, but it's going to be full of historical pictures and uh, all kind of plaques and things interesting that you will find uh, as you come in and go down this hall come back in here there's a wave as we go back in to the map room and this is still being put together so this stuff will be taken out that big old gray cabinet is just being unloaded into this other cabinet over here and uh, no it's not games as that cabinet says that's just a cabinet we put in here and we've got to get that off but those are very important files that will be there and files over here. These will be work desks for the officers and volunteers who come in to help and uh, where we will be doing uh, filing and researching ourselves. Uh, our president will be sitting here at this desk and uh, this desk was donated by Beth Coker and the, and the chair. The credenza in the back was donated by the bank and uh, Janet Cantrell did the curtains and we're grateful for that. There's a wave over there and we've got Joseph, our father, <laughs> the father of McMinn County right there. He's in here watching over Fred. And then we'll go right through here and you'll see that this will be the record room. And this is uh, well underway of being uh, prepared, still unboxing, and you see there's still a lot to be done, shelves to be filled, and it's coming along quite well. And again, Janet uh, Cantrell did the curtains, and we're grateful for that. She's done so much. Uh, and Clarice, they've just really been working hard, and Jason, he's just really been putting effort into everything up here so grateful for them 
Uh, the others, Tyler, Fred. Uh, Fred's not been well and uh, hasn't been able to be up here much, but he's getting better and he's getting on his feet and we're seeing more and more of him and that's good. It's a good thing. We're seeing Tyler and some of the others. Joe Guy's been up here. Uh, other people, some of the, our city leaders have been up here looking and they're all quite impressed. So, and yeah, this is a kitchen but it's not all gonna be a kitchen. Where you see those chairs stacked right there, from that point to this point will be a meeting room and uh, we'll fix it up where it looks more like a meeting room here. Uh, we didn't need this kitchen, but we're glad to have it and it's uh, gonna be good to be able to have meetings in here and, and we can have refreshments in here as well. So they're still in the process of cleaning this up in here. And once all this is cleaned up and all these boxes right here go in the record room. So they'll go in there and be put away. And when all that's done, these chairs will be set up and it'll look right nice. And as we go back out into, I call it the Hall of History, but <laughs> it's just Hall, I guess. Some of these rooms will be used by McMinn County at the courthouse. Uh, the elected officers will be bringing their products here as well. Um, then we come right down here and you'll see, of course, we've got signs saying that we do have security cameras up. And if you look back down the hallway here, this will be the entrance from the back. You'll come down this hall to the front and uh, the Volunteers in the research area will be up there. Um, excuse the boxes and the mess down the hall. It's going to be a mess, folks, for a little while until we get all this put away. Um, and then, of course, our front and rear doors are going to have our logos on there. Uh, the Hacker Company, Hacker Sign Company, has graciously offered to put our logos and information on our front and rear doors and our main sign out front a donation from them and we're we're very grateful for that and so we look forward to seeing those put up so that's it for today and i'll be seeing you real soon as we continue our documentary of the moon